<laughs> so many bad words. So many words, 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 words. If we didn't have bad luck right now offensively, we'd have none at all. And Exhibit A is that ninth inning. We finally get a squeaker to go through infield single by Sean Murphy. Just perfectly placed. Pinch hitter Sam Hilliard. Travis Starno absolutely torches one towards the gap on a hanging slider from Castro, but Lord Escoriel puts his cape on and is, has a snow cone machine, is able to snag that line drive, and because everybody thought it was going to drop, Sam wasn't able to advance a base, but we were able to execute an amazing hit run by Eddie Rosario. He had the magic stick tonight, three hits, two bombs, um, it was able to execute it first and third, one out, Ozzy flew out, short left to Guriel, couldn't uh, try it, and then Orlando Arcia um, hit one back up the box right to Miguel Castro to end the ball game, but every, it feels like there's 15 fielders for the opposing team on this road trip and on our recent, recent struggles. They're catching everything, they're making web gym plays, there's nothing we can do except hit the ball hard, and we continue to do that, and the stats continue to show up, but we don't get any of the results except the two uh, solo blasts by Eddie Rosario. Great approach all night long from him. You just got to work through it, but it's really annoying, especially the great pitching we're getting. Charlie Morton, seven innings, nine strikeouts, couple of walks. Um, and the one walk came back to bite big time, but in the first, um, two infield singles, uh, Perdomo really, really fast to lead off the ball game at ground ball that RCL lost the grip of. Uh, I don't think he would have got him anyway, even with his strong arm, honestly. So infield single there, and then infield single off the glove of Matt, and Ozzy did a nice job of. Uh, keeping it on the infield, Corbin Carroll is the fastest human being alive. Um, and then Yuli Gurriel, U Lourdes Gurriel, excuse me, got a uh, first pitch fastball and torched it to, for a two-run double because Corbin Carroll was on the bases. So there, and then the third, a harmless two-out walk to Corbin Carroll and a inside uh, two-strike changeup, righty-righty changeup. Um, to Christian Walker, and he smoked it for for RBI double, and that was the end result. I didn't like that pitch, considering uh, Charlie almost gave up a two-run homer on an inside fastball. It was clear that, or clearer that Christian Walker was selling out on the inside corner. Yes, it was a little surprise party to throw the change up, but just didn't execute and. Or he executed, but I think Christian Walker uh, had a game plan and he was able to get to it. Seeing that inside fastball um, a pitch before, that's usually, I just didn't like that selection. I thought he could have gone away, but uh, didn't work out there. And then um, in the eighth, we got three, three ball counts and nothing positive. That's how you know our offense is. Um, on the struggle bus. We're having really good at bats, but no results to show for it, seemingly. And then um, we also had in the third, uh, Money Mike smoked one, um, and Corbin Carroll made a sliding grab. And then we had a walk by Matt Olson, a double by Austin Riley, but Wash got caught in between or forgot who was running. Um, because Goriel slipped on the track, you might have thought you'd try. But Wash threw up the stop sign really late. You'd think Matt could get back, but there was an excellent cutoff job, and Matt couldn't get back. So that was a rally killer as well. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong, even when something good happens for us. We're just stinging the ball, but everybody is standing everywhere. And it's just unfortunate because we are getting fantastic pitching. Um up and down the rotation right now. We just cannot string together hits, good at bats, or good at bats, but not getting the results and not getting the runs that we should be getting. And the stats are bearing that out. It's just so
so so frustrating I think the last week our expecting expected batting average has been better than our opponents every game but we've only won one so far in this road trip it's super super annoying but as always go Braves champions forever